it seems that allergies, like hay fever, asthma, are a different arm of the immune system than rheumatoid arthritis. They actually are quite separate. I can't say in no way that maybe those stimuli in the environment that trigger her as flares of her asthma or her allergies may not be the trigger for rheumatoid arthritis. What we're trying to do is, interestingly enough, to trying to stop the illness. And so if a person has rheumatoid arthritis and the children are tested for some reason, and they have a positive rheumatoid factor or an anti-CCP, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to develop rheumatoid arthritis, but it certainly gives you pause and you might wonder what's going on, whether they may eventually develop it if they come upon that trigger that we talked about. So what's now being considered is treating those people early on before they develop the illness. So the con concept now with molecular biology and gene therapies and our understanding of the immune system is not only to stop the illness and cure, which we're doing with these medicines, but stop it before it starts. The balance there is, can you give somebody who doesn't have an illness a medicine that may cause a problem when you don't know that they're going to develop the illness down the road? That's an ethical issue, but you can see now that we're at least far along to try to turn this illness off early on.